Hey, good morning, everyone. It is Nurse Montana from Revive Skincare Clinic in Kelowna, British Columbia. And today we are gonna be talking about some dosages used for some of my before and afters with Botox Cosmetic. So the first photo I wanna talk about here was a lovely client of mine who came in for her first treatment. Her concern was her lines forming at the side of the eye when she expresses and the fact that her eyebrow was pulling down a little bit when she smiles. She wanted to open her eyes, look a little bit more rested and a little bit more awake. So so for her treatment using Botox Cosmetic, I did four units into the lateral end of the eyebrow here to relax it up, and then 10 units into the crow's feet. So for a total of 14 units, a really beautiful result in opening the eye. Of course, times that by two, because we have two eyes, so you're looking at about 28 units for that result, and that should last about three to four months. Beautiful, really natural, and she just looks definitely a lot more open and awake, which is what we were going for. Uh, my next client here in our photo was for um, a patient coming in with concerns of some fine lines starting just right between her eyebrows here. We also treated her forehead and a little bit around her eyes, but let's just focus between her brow here. She noticed when she was expressing, um, working throughout the day that she was frowning a lot and starting to get those fine lines that would form, but also wanted to open her eyes up and just look a little bit more awake and open again. Same kind of concept. Botox is fantastic for opening up around the eyes. So for this client, we ended up doing right in her glabella 15 units, which is again a pretty light conservative dose it was her first time and my um, opinion on it is that I would rather go low on your first round see how you do we can always add more at your two-week follow-up appointment but once the Botox is in there's no um, way to take it out other than just to let it wear off so especially on a client's first time I like to dose them relatively conservatively so aside from her forehead and aside from around her eyes just in between her brows here we did 15 units and again, that was perfect. It gave us exactly the result we were looking for, nice and soft and natural. Uh, my next client was a girl coming in looking to address her forehead lines. We also worked between her brows and around her eyes, but for this uh, photo, obviously you can see that her forehead lines are greatly improved. So working on the frontalis muscle, which is what lifts up our eyebrows and creates that accordion fold on the forehead, we ended up doing 10 units up there, some units in here and some units around the eye too, but again, just to focus on the fact that we have relaxed those out beautifully with just 10 units of Botox. Now, depending on the person's anatomy, we often have to do in between the brow too. So just assume if you're going in for a consultation, your injector may suggest other areas corresponding that would make it look really nice and natural and prevent any heaviness or side effects associated with it. So again, 10 units across her forehead, beautiful result, just what we were looking for. My next one was a client coming in to address her frown lines. Uh, this is somebody who works on their phone and is quite busy and often finds themselves expressing a frown. So what we wanted to do was again, really naturally relax her there so that she couldn't frown, which will help with the lines and also just to open up her eyes and look more awake and rested as well too. So with her, we ended up doing 18 units in her glabella region to block her frown. And you can see when she tries to express uh, you can almost tell that she's really trying quite hard. You can see kind of the end of her eyebrow moving a little bit. We could always add a little bit more Botox if we wanted to relax that up and open, but this was also her first time. So we wanted to go low and conservative and just see what kind of an improvement we could get with those 18 units in the glabella region. And again, that should last about three to four months typically with Botox Cosmetic. And the last one here is working on a gummy smile. So when we smile, uh, we have many different muscles that pull up and then pull out to give us a nice big grin. And for some people, depending on their anatomy, when they smile, their muscles can lift a little bit too high on the upper lip and show a little bit too much gum. So what we do with Botox is we inject a very small amount into that levator muscle, which pulls up when you smile so that it relaxes down. And then when you do smile, your other muscles pull out nice and wide and the mouth just doesn't lift up as high. So instead we just get a nice, beautiful, wide smile. This is a really great option. It is super cost effective. In this client, we only did four units and four units, so a total of eight units, which is very affordable. And then also we have talked about the potential of maybe doing some filler into her lips, but we were just, again, it was her first time with anything cosmetic, so we wanted to see just what an improvement we would get with the Botox, and she was super, super happy with it. So maybe in the future we'll add some filler. She may love it just the way it is. It is her prerogative. But again, a really nice light and conservative dose 
I could always up it next time if we find it didn't last the full three to four months. Anyways, I hope that has been super helpful for you to get a good understanding of units and dosages and where they go. If you are interested in Botox Cosmetic and are looking for an injector, I'd love to have you into our practice to meet you and give you a good overall facial assessment and give you a nice quote. Uh, we are located in Kelowna, British Columbia. And again, my name was Montana. Thanks so much and have a great day, you guys.